guys, welcome to my channel. That's what everyone says. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I like am really not, uh, this is my first vlog by the way. I'm not really like a YouTuber. I like put things up on YouTube occasionally, but like this journey for me, I want to share with you guys. Um, so here we are. A lot of you guys are wondering like, were you sick? How did you deal with the nausea? Girl, I was so sick. And I actually thought, um, when I was about six weeks, I was like, oh, I was like, from week one to six, like, this is cool. Like, I'm not going to get sick. I might not get sick. This is going to be amazing. And my mom was really sick with my brother and I, so she was, like, hospitalized. So I was, like, really nervous, like, oh, God, please, I don't want to be like my mom. Um, but I ended up getting sick. And it all started around... Um, like seven, I, it's funny, I saw my doctor and I was like, I don't think, maybe I'm not just going to get sick. And she's like, oh, you, you have some time. It was like seven or eight weeks and the nausea just hit me. And it's not one of those things where like you throw up and then you're like, oh, I feel better and I can carry on with my day. It's like you throw up and you still feel like shit. Um, so I had that. I had a lot of the morning bile that I would like constantly have that nice bright yellow stuff right in the morning. Um, I can't even tell you how many toothbrushes I've gone through, like because brushing my teeth would also make me really nauseous. So I'd be like brushing my teeth and then throwing up on my toothbrush and then having to like throw away my toothbrush. It was a whole thing. Um, so how I dealt with the nausea, I wanna say from week eight to week 10, it was super bad. Um, and I feel like I didn't leave this couch. There's not like one thing that's gonna cure it. I had a lot of things I did that kind of like helped it. Um, but then I ran into another issue. So when, when the nausea first um, started happening, I felt like oranges, like cutting up oranges and eating oranges were like good. Um, my one friend said, like cut up a lemon, put lemon in your water, that was good. I actually carried around a lemon, like smelling an actual lemon, like I like literally would be walking around with a damn lemon. Smelling a lemon for some reason helped. Um, and then all of a sudden I started getting acid reflux. So acid reflux and heartburn started happening really bad. And then all the citrusy things that were like helping me with my nausea actually started working against me. And then I had this like crazy like acid reflux thing, which was so gnarly. So then at one point it was nausea, acid reflux, and heartburn. And that those three things combined, dying literally dying um uh ice ice from coffee bean um i don't know their ice looks like little rabbit like pellets it's just like easier to chew for some reason the ice helped so i would be getting i think you guys probably saw on like my stories or my my snaps like me just with like taking pictures of like ice because i was just chomping on ice non-stop but that actually did help um, popsicles helped, and then you just wanted like comfort food. Like I wanted like to eat mashed potatoes and a lot of soups, like brothy soups with noodles. And that's pretty much what I survived on um, my whole first trimester. Um, and a lot of Moe's. We have this like restaurant by us and I would literally every morning get like an egg white omelet with potatoes um, every single morning. That's pretty much what I ate. As nauseous as I was, I will say, I still had an appetite. I know there's some like women who just like can't eat anything when, when this happens. Ah, your girl, she still could throw down, as sick as I was. And I, I only kind of threw up in the morning and then it would just feel nauseous all day, 24 seven. And then as soon as that went away, I, I feel like I could then get back to like eating normally. Um, and just that nausea, I was probably, I threw up to like 20 weeks. So I had a really long first and like beginning of my second trimester where I like wasn't really feeling good, but you just go with it. You know, like Brian's like, I was like, wow, I'm so impressed. Like you're just kind of like dealing with it and you just do, you know? Um, I didn't really like complain too much about it. I just kind of went through the motions and, and that was it. Um, what else? So a lot of you guys wanted to know how my workouts have been throughout my pregnancy. Um, some of you guys were like, I'm really scared to work out. I'm not sure what I should be doing or not doing. Um, 
you know, when I talked to my doctor, she was like, just continue doing what you're doing. I'm 26 weeks and I've been able to work out throughout the whole thing. Um, I was even working out when you guys didn't even know I was pregnant. Shit, I didn't even know I was pregnant up until six weeks. Um, but yeah, I was working out actually so hard um, those first few weeks, which some people say like, oh, if you're trying to get pregnant, you shouldn't be working out. My whole thing is like, look, if the baby is going to be there, the baby will be there. The baby is going to stay. It's going to be a strong, healthy baby. The baby is not going to go anywhere. And something like working out, if you normally work out, I don't think it's going to affect that. And that's exactly what my doctor said to me. You know, she's like, you work out and you just need to keep doing what you're doing. You don't need to stop. Um, but everything in moderation. You know, your body will tell you um, if it's in pain or what to do or what not to do. You just have to listen to it. And that's what I had to do. There are certain things that, you know, I had to stop doing. I couldn't do any lunges because it put too much pressure on that round ligament. Round ligament pain, it's going to happen throughout your whole pregnancy. Sometimes it's going to be worse. Sometimes it's going to be mild. Um, it's just something you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, deal with. So, um, yeah, besides this pain that I now know what it is, because before uh, my doctor here couldn't even like really give me a good answer and I was just freaking out that, you know, I just don't want to hurt my baby. I don't want anything to be wrong. So I was, um, after that, just a little more cautious than I was before. I always thought in my mind that I was going to be able to continue to work out the way um, I normally do, but you just, you can't. You know, you have to listen to your body. Um, and I've made those adjustments and I feel great. I feel really good when I'm at the gym and when I'm continuing just to be active because it also like helps me feel better. Sometimes I can barely walk to the gym, but if I'm on the elliptical for a few minutes, I'm like, whoa, I actually feel a lot better than when I did before I walked in here. So I would say just continue doing what you're doing stay active you know you don't have to be super intense with it but i definitely think like working out for your pregnancy is super important you want to stay strong you want your lower back to be strong you want everything to prepare you for your delivery and that's kind of what i'm focusing on i just want to be mentally prepared physically prepared um just to have the best delivery i can possible um i just want to thank you guys for just all your support and your love in this next chapter. I don't want to cry. This next chapter in Brian and I's life. You guys, the waterworks. I can't. <laughs> this is a part of it. I know. Ugh. Anyways, I'm just so excited. And I, it truly means a lot to me that you guys are just have been so amazing, so supportive. See? I can't. Can't even finish this video. I love you and <laughs> I will see you soon, okay? Mwah. Bye.